Morning all. All right, we got 10 games tonight in the National Hockey League. Six of them starting at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, one and a half an hour later, one and a half an hour after that. And then we have two later games as well. So it's going to be busy for a while. And then it's going to be busy on the Saturday as well. And and then that's basically it for my really busy e evenings. Uh, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between the Washington Capitals and the Buffalo Sabres. This is a huge game for Washington, of course. They have to stay ahead of Pittsburgh and Detroit, who are playing against one another. So Washington's won one of the first two meetings. 4-3 uh, to three overtime win on November 22nd. April 2nd, Buffalo won 6-2. to two. Uh, for Buffalo, you're playing for pride. Uh, on the uh, Washington side, they're 37, 30, and 11. They're 4, 4, and 2 in their last 10, so they've had their struggles. Ovechkin, their leading scorer over the last month, 16 games, 12 goals, 3 assists, 15 points. Uh, Nick Dowd, kind of a tough time for him. 15 goals, 2 goals, 1 assist, 3 points, a minus 13. So tough time for him indeed. On the Buffalo side, 37, 37, and 5 is their record. They're 4 and 6 in their last 10. Tage Thompson, their leading scorer over the last month. He's had a great month. 14 games, 10 goals, 9 assists, 19 points. I was seeing people saying, well, he had a really good year and kind of a flash in the pan. I think his recent run has kind of uh, tempered some of those thoughts. Uh, Cousins, 14 games, 1 goal, 4 assists, 5 points. Like, I think Thompson could still hit 50 goals at some point. Uh, so, yeah, Cousins, they could use a goal or two out of him. It'll be interesting to see how Buffalo plays now that they've been eliminated from the playoffs. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between Columbus and Florida. Florida's won the first two meetings, although the first one was close. It was an overtime win on November 6th by a score of 5-4. to four. December 10th, less close, a 5-2 to two win for the Florida Panthers. Uh, Columbus is 26-41-12 overall. They're 3-7 and seven over their last 10. Zach Wierenski's been playing really well lately, 15 games. Five goals, 10 assists, 15 points over the last month. He is their leading scorer over that time. Texier, 15 games, one goal, four assists, five points. I think Texier's been playing pretty well for them recently. They could use another goal from him, sure. Uh, for Florida, they're 49, 24, and six. They're four, four, and two in their last 10. They're looking to gain ground on the idle Boston Bruins in that chase for first place. Uh, they're, again, four, four, and two in their last 10 shows they've had their struggles. Uh, Reinhardt, over the last month, has been their leading scorer, 14 games, 8 goals, 6 assists, 14 points. Lundell, 14 games, 3 goals, 2 assists, 5 points for Anton Lundell. Uh, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between the Philadelphia Flyers and the New York Rangers. The Rangers have won the first three. All of them close, but yeah, they've won all three. Uh, November 24th by a score of 3-1, to one. February 24th by a score of 2-1, to one. March 26th by a 6-5 to five score in overtime. For the Flyers, they're 36, 32, and 11. They're two points back of Washington for that final playoff spot and fading fast. 1, 6, and 3 over their last 10. Uh, Tippett, 14 games, 6 goals, 9 assists, 15 points. Their leading scorer over the last month. Bobby Brink, just the 12 games. 1 goal, 1 assist, 2 points for Brink. I still like Brink. If Philadelphia decides they sour on Brink, Boston Bruins are right there. Uh, the New York Rangers, 53-22-4 overall, 8-2 uh, and two over their last 10. Great hockey from them lately. Panarin, their leading scorer over the last month. 16 games, 11 goals, 18 assists, 29 points. Uh, VC has 6 assists in 16 games over the last month, so he's due for a goal, right? 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between the Detroit Red Wings and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Again, they are tied in points. They are both one point back of Washington. And they're hoping for a Buffalo victory tonight. Uh, they've split the first two meetings, both of them by scores of 6-3. to three. First by Detroit on October 18th, and then on March 17th by Pittsburgh. So maybe a 6-3 to three score again tonight. Detroit's 38-32-8 and eight overall. They're 4-4-2 four, four and two in their last 10 as well. The narrative that nobody wants that spot in the East definitely, I think, originates from Philadelphia, Washington, and Detroit and their play, but it, it does kind of ignore that uh, Pittsburgh's been playing pretty well. Uh, it ignores that the Islanders have been playing pretty well, too. Uh, Raymond's been the leading scorer for Detroit over the last month. 14 games, 9 goals, 4 assists, 13 points. Uh, Robbie Fabry, 14 games, 2 goals, 3 assists, 5 points for him. On the Pittsburgh side, they're 36, 30, and 12, but they're 6, 1, and 3 in their last 10. Crosby, 15 games, 8 goals, 14 assists, 22 points, saving his best hockey for the most important time of the year. Uh, Bunting, 15 games, 5 goals, 8 assists, 13 points. Michael Bunting fitting in pretty well in Pittsburgh and being a good return on that Jake Gensel deal, a huge part of the reason why Pittsburgh is still in the hunt for a playoff spot. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between the Ottawa Senators and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Ottawa's won two of the first three in this setup, so... 
Uh, October 15th, the Sens won 5-2. On November 4th, a 6-4 win for Tampa Bay. And on February 19th, a 4-2 win for the Senators. Uh, the Sens are 34-40-4 overall. They are 6-4 in their last 10. Uh, Kachuk, 16 games, 7 goals, 9 assists, 16 points. Their leading scorer over the last month. Matthew Joseph, probably due for a goal. 16 games, 1 goal, 4 assists, 5 points for him over the last month. Tampa Bay, 44-27-7 overall. They're 7-2-1 in their last 10. Kucherov, 13 games, 5 goals, 27 assists, 32 points. Has been fantastic. Uh, Dumba, just the one assist in 13 games. He's due for a goal. Uh, Dumba's offense this year has really, really dropped off. I know defensively he's played pretty well, but it's just interesting to see how, how his trajectories kind of change. Uh, then also at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, New Jersey and Toronto meet again. Uh, this is the third meeting in a couple of weeks. March 26th, New Jersey won 6-3. April 9th, Toronto won 5-2. For the Devils, same record as Buffalo. Both of them eliminated from the playoff picture. 37-37-5 overall. They're 4-5-1 over their last 10. Nico Heischer, 15 games, 6 goals, 10 assists, 16 points to lead them in scoring over the last month. Chris Tierney's had a good run lately too. 15 games, 3 goals, 3 assists, 6 points for Tierney. On the Toronto side, they're 46-23-9 overall. They're 7-3 over their last 10. Austin Matthews, their leading scorer over that over the last month. 14 games, 12 goals, 12 assists, 24 points. And Matthews is pretty good. He does have that shot at 70 goals. He absolutely does. Uh, and yes, if he hits 70 goals, we will never hear the end of it during the summer. But I will say this, we're already not going to hear the end of it anyways. He has 66. And you know what? He's earned it. Uh, Domi, 14 games, 1 goal, 10 assists, 11 points. Max Domi has really been an excellent playmaker in Toronto. Eh, could they use an extra goal from him? Sure. 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific start between Montreal and the Islanders. The Habs have won the first two meetings. They're trying to sweep the season series. December 16th, it was a 5-3 win. January 25th, a 4-3 win. Montreal's 30, 36, and 12 overall. They're 5-5 five and five over their last 10. Slavkovsky, I'm starting to see the media pick up on what Slavkovsky's been able to do and realizing, hey, he might become a star here after all. Yes, he might. Uh, four games, six goals, nine assists, 15 points. Their leading score over the last month. Christian Dvorak had a really good return, had two goals in that one game. We'll see if he, how he follows that up against the Islanders, who are 36, 27, and 15. They're 7 and 3 in their last 10. Uh, they sit third in the division, but it's still precarious. It's not like they're way above the other teams beneath them. Uh, Barzell, their leading scorer over the last month, 15 games, 3 goals, 9 assists, 12 points. Uh, Nelson, surprising to me is that they're 7 and 3 over their last 10, and they haven't been getting goals from Brock Nelson. 15 games. One goal, five assists, six points for him over the last month. Uh, eight Eastern, five Pacific start between the Winnipeg Jets and the Dallas Stars. Dallas has won the first three meetings. So while my wife won't be home tonight to watch this one, uh, it might be okay considering how Dallas usually plays against them. Uh, three to two win for the Stars on November 11th. A two nothing win for Dallas on November 28th. And a four to one win on February 29th. The Jets are 48, 24 and six overall. They're four, five and one in their last 10. They are two points back at Colorado for second place in the division. Mark Shifley, their leading scorer over the last month, right around a point per game. 14 games, 5 goals, 8 assists, 13 points. Uh, Gabe Velarde, when he plays, he's excellent. 5 games and 4 goals in those 5 games. Uh, Dallas, 50, 20, and 9 overall. They clinch the division if they win tonight in any fashion. They're 9 and 1 over their last 10. Jamie Benn, 13 games, 10 goals, 7 assists, 17 points, leading him in scoring over the last month. Marchment, 13 games, 2 goals, 2 assists, 4 points for him. So, Marchment, eh, they could use another point from him, but you know what? Dallas is doing really well. So, whatever they're doing, right? Keep doing it. 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. Ah, yes, we get into the West Coast starts, which, considering a lot of the West Coast teams are, are really not in it, it, it yeah, anyways. Uh, so, Sharks in Seattle here. Seattle's won two of the first three meetings. They won 7-1 to one on November 22nd. San Jose won 2-0 on January 30th, and on April the 1st, Seattle won 4-2. Uh, for the Sharks, it could be an interesting and dubious night for them. If they lose in regulation, they clinch 32nd overall in the league, by my count, uh, meaning they would clinch the best odds of winning the draft lottery. They're 18-51-9 overall. They're 2-6-2 over their last 10. Granlin's been their leading scorer over the last month, 15 games, 3 goals, 12 assists, 15 points. Luke Cunnan, 15 games, 2 goals, 3 assists, 5 points for him. On the Seattle front, they're 33, 31, and 13 overall. They're 5, 4, and 1 over their last 10. 
Uh, Bjorkstrand, 14 games, 4 goals, 8 assists, 12 points for him to lead them in scoring over the last month. Yanni Gord, 5 assists in 14 games. So it, it's kind of too bad for Seattle. Uh, they've had games this month against some, some of the teams at the bottom of the league. If they had been in a position to make a run at a playoff spot, uh, they absolutely could have run the table and, and maybe jumped in there. But at any rate, didn't happen. 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 Pacific start between the Flames and the Kings. I'm wearing Kings because they clinch with a win. I don't see any reason why they won't. Uh, the Flames uh, have won two of the first three meetings, but they're out of it. Uh, and they almost lost that game against San Jose. They did come back and win that. Uh, LA won the first meeting December 23rd by a score of 5-3. to three. The Flames then won February 27th 4-2, to two, and they won again by a score of 4-2 to two on March the 30th. Calgary's 35-37-5 and five overall. They're 2-8 and eight over their last 10. Nazem Kadri, their leading scorer over the last month, 13 games, 4 goals, 9 assists, 13 points. Uh, Backland, 13 games, 2 goals, 3 assists, 5 points for their captain over the last month. On the LA side, they're 41, 26, and 11. They're 6 and 4 over their last 10. Uh, Kempe, 15 games, 8 goals, 12 assists, 20 points. Their leading scorer overall and over the last month. Uh, Akil Thomas, 2 goals in 4 games since the call up. Maybe he gets one tonight. We'll see. Byfield is still stuck at 19 goals. He hasn't had a goal in quite some time, so he might be able to get one tonight as well. We shall see. Let me know your picks in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.